Welcome back, guys. It looks like I hit the wrong button like two times in a row. At any rate, we are doing section H7, and we are solving problem number 25. Um, I started with another one. We'll start with this one. 64x squared minus 5 equals 20. Okay? So let's solve this one step at a time, shall we? Okay, we're going to isolate for x. Okay? Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. But let me show you the fastest way to do it. Okay, first, obviously, we're going to get rid of this. We want the constant all in one term. So add 5 and use inverse operations to solve for that. So now you have 64x squared. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Cancels out, which was the point. Equals 25. Okay? Now, there's two different ways and two different thoughts to doing this, okay? One way I showed you on the last video, which is this, where from here, people would say, oh, let's get it to x squared, okay? So, that, you know, we divide by 64. So that's one possibility. 64x squared equals 25. Divide both sides by 64, okay? That cancels out, and x, well, it cancels to 1. So it's 1x squared equals 25 60 fourths okay and then you would get the square root of both sides and as we previously explained which I'll put up here that the square root of x squared is x and that equals and the square root of 25 over 64 is the same thing as saying the square root of 25 over the square root of 64 so the square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 64 is 8 and of course it's plus or minus because a negative 5 8 squared or a positive 5 8 squared would result in 25 64. Okay, so it's plus or minus 5 8. That's one way. Another way to solve it, which um, depends on how you want to look at it, is you got 64x squared equals 25. Okay? And you do the square roots right now. Because you're like, wait a minute, 64x squared can be squared out right now, and so can 25. So, square root of 64x squared is 8x. 8x times 8x is 64x squared. Okay? Let me fold this over to show you a little bit more. All right. Bam, bam. So, so yeah, square root of 64x squared is 8x. And then square root of 25 equals, it's 5. Okay? And then you just divide both sides by 8. And then you would have x equals 5 eighths. And we, of course, know that because if we square rooted it, it could be a plus or minus. All right? Now, I prefer this way here because it, it's like you're, you don't feel like you're carrying the plus and minus to the end without an explained reason. Okay? But either way, we'll solve the exact same answer. So x is either positive or negative 5 eighths. All right, guys, um, that is all for H7. Um, I will help you guys a little bit more, obviously, in class. And don't ever forget that you are awesome. All right, have a wonderful night, guys.